Solving multi-step inequalities really doesn't include anything new beyond solving one-step inequalities. The only difference is that you do one step two or three times in a row, but it's the same step as you might have done before. So really the uh, inequalities aren't any more difficult. There's nothing new to learn. You just have to do more than one step before you get to your answer. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Um, suppose we had 4y minus 6 is greater than or equal to um, 3y over 2 plus 4. Yeah, so we need to get all our variables on one side, all our numbers on the other, just like we would if this was an equation. So let's move our 6 over to the other side. So we'll add 6 to both sides. So we'll cancel, add 6. So then we'll have 4y is greater than or equal to 3y over 2 plus 10. Um, let's go ahead and multiply everything by 2 to get the 2 out of the denominator. So we'll have 8y is greater than or equal to 3y plus 20. Then I can subtract 3y from both sides and I get 5y is greater than or equal to 20. And divide both sides by 5 gives me y is greater than or equal to 4. So you can see these are exactly the same series of steps I would have gone through if this had been an equation. If this just said equals in here, then this wouldn't have been a new lesson. This would have been a lesson we did quite some time ago. The only difference is that we have greater than or equal to. So instead of having a single answer, instead of it just being y equals 4, we have y is greater than or equal to 4. So we mark 4. y could be 4. It says it's equal to, but it could also be anything bigger. So anything to the right of that number would also work and would also make the original statement that we had up here at the top true. Any number bigger than 4 or equal to 4 will make that original statement true. Let's try one more example. Um, let's do negative uh, 2x over 3 plus 1 is less than or equal to x minus 7. Yeah, so first we'll combine like terms again, get rid of our 1 from both sides. We'll have negative 2x over 3 less than or equal to x minus 8. Multiply everything by 3, we'll get negative 2x is less than or equal to 3x minus 24. Combine our like terms, subtract 3x from both sides, so we'll get negative 5x is less than or equal to negative 24. And then divide everything by 5, and we'll get x, or negative 5, I mean, x is, and then since we've divided by a negative, we have to switch the sign. x is greater than or equal to 24 fifths, or 4 and 4 fifths. So we find 4 and 4 fifths. We mark it on our graph. It says it could be that or anything bigger. So we mark it and then shade off to the right. So again, just like it would be for an equation, the only difference being this one step where we divided by a negative means that we have to switch the sign to go the other direction.